Hi everyone, I thought I would take some time to read you one of my most favourite stories um, that I would normally read you in class by this time of year anyway. It's by a children's author called Nicholas Allen and it's about one of my most favourite artists and that's Pablo Picasso. You may already know lots about Picasso but the thing I love about this book particularly is that it tells us something about Picasso that we may not necessarily think about all the time when we think of him. We might think of lots of grand paintings, we might think of lots of um, expensive auctions in which his work sells for millions and millions of pounds. But to me, I think maybe this story is much more about Picasso than any money could ever be. So. Picasso's Trousers Picasso was an artist. When he was young, he wanted to go to Paris to paint. No, 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 Picasso, said his dad. But Picasso said, Yes. When he got to Paris, he painted many pictures. He liked blue, so he decided to paint pictures all blue. You can't paint all blue pictures, they said. No, 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 Picasso. But Picasso said, yes. And actually, he didn't just paint in blue, but he painted in pink too. Picasso was very good at faces. He liked painting faces from the front and from the side. So he decided to paint a face from the front and the side all at the same time. You can't paint a face from the front and the side all at the same time, they said. No, 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 Picasso. But Picasso said, front, side, front and side, yes. Soon, Picasso left Paris and went to the south of France where the colours were beautiful. Picasso liked to make art out of anything, so he thought he'd make some art out of bike bits. Bike bits, they said. You can't make art out of bike bits. No, 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 Picasso. But Picasso said, yes, moo. And Picasso liked heavy things, but when he painted them, they never looked heavy enough. So he decided to paint them heavier. But you can't paint heaviness. No, 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 Picasso. But Picasso said, yes. Picasso became the fastest painter in the West. You can't draw in 30 seconds, they said. No, no, no. Yes, said Picasso. Picasso soon became the greatest painter in the world. And he wanted to be the best dressed painter in the world. So he decided to buy some new trousers to match his stripy shirt. But all the stripes went the wrong way. You can't have the stripes the other way, they said. They'll make you look short and fat. No, 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 Picasso. No, said Picasso. No, no, no. But Picasso said to Sapone, the tailor of Nice. Yes. Yes, there's Picasso and his trousers, and possibly yes, and there he is in his studio. It says at the end a little bit of fact stuff in case you're interested. Pablo Picasso was born in Spain in 1881. His dad was an artist, but little Pablo could paint better than him when he was only 14. His dad must have been a bit annoyed. Um, Picasso moved to Paris in 1904, where all the best artists were. He was poor and hungry, so he painted people who were poor and hungry. And this was called his blue period, because he painted the pictures of blue paint. And he started to sell the paintings so he wasn't hungry anymore. By 1905, he was into his rose period paintings, and that's where he used paint that was pink, which were of acrobats and dancers, so things were looking up. One day in 1907, he painted a really big picture. His friends thought it was rubbish. 
The picture was called Les Demoiselles d'Avignon and became the most important painting in the whole world. It was the beginning of Cubism. After this picture, Picasso, with his pal Braque, another painter, started doing Cubist paintings. The paintings showed people and objects, like mandolins and bowls of fruit, from all different sides. It was as if Picasso and Braque walked round the object they were painting and put it all together in one picture. The two artists painted hundreds of Cubist pictures. Picasso then developed other styles, including neoclassicism, where he showed heaviness in pictures by making things look as if they weighed a ton. And then he began making sculpture out of rubbish. In 1943, he made a bull's head out of a bicycle saddle and handlebars. Picasso painted another great picture in 1937, Guernica. And this was a mural, which is a big painting on a wall. Um, and it was all about the horror, pain and great sadness. Um, all the things that Picasso felt about the bombing of Guernica, which was a small town in Spain during the Spanish Civil War. In 1955, Picasso moved to the south of France. He never stopped work and made beautifully decorated pots more paintings, sculptures and thousands of drawings. He was very funny, which is why many of his paintings are funny. He made masks and liked to wear brightly coloured trousers and he had several striped pairs of trousers made for him, but we don't know if he really did have stripy pants. Picasso worked very hard every day, even the last day of his life. Um, he was 92 when he died in his home in 1973. And in his lifetime, I don't know if you can guess how many pieces of artwork he made, but he made over 20,000 pieces of art in his lifetime. That's a lot of art. Every child is an artist. It's a challenge to remain an artist when you grow up, said Pablo Picasso. Thanks for listening.